A school bus full of mourners came to say goodbye to 14-year-old Michelle Faley, a high school freshman in the Chicago suburb of Naperville. Michelle was just a really fun girl. She loved helping out everyone. She always welcomed everyone with a smile. Faley died from the H1N1 virus and a previously undiagnosed heart condition. But in San Diego, California, an otherwise healthy five-year-old girl in kindergarten also died from the virus. The problem was her heart kept stopping. She kept needing more and more rounds of medicine, um, and eventually it became very clear that her heart just wasn't going to work. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention found about half the people hospitalized for swine flu had no other serious health problems. And the World Health Organization says only 1% of patients infected with H1N1 are hospitalized. Of those, 12 to 30% need intensive care, and 15 to 40% of that group die. I wish that we were able to provide vaccine all through the weekend and into next week. I just wish that the supply meet, met the demand. Long lines around the country for the H1N1 vaccine may continue until next month. Our doctor's office said probably another four weeks before they get it. Because sure. vaccine manufacturers are experiencing production delays. Uh, eventually, anyone who wants to be vaccinated uh, will be able to be vaccinated. For now, hospitals are trying to make sure their workers are vaccinated. We have to protect our workforce in hospitals. We have to be there if people get sick from flu or other other things to help them. Even with 41 states now reporting widespread H1N1 outbreaks, researchers still don't know why this strain of the flu is hurting children so lethally. Normally 95% of flu fatalities are 65 and older. Jeff. All right, Hari Srinivasan tonight. Hari, thank you.